We continue to share with you the latest robots presented at the largest robotics exhibition, IREX 2023, which recently took place in Tokyo, Japan. More than 650 companies from around the world presented their latest developments at the exhibition, and we have selected the most interesting ones for you. This is already the second episode dedicated to the exhibition. If you haven't watched the first part yet, be sure to check it out by following the link in the video description after watching this video. Let's get started. This year, Kawasaki delighted visitors with a variety of humanoid robots. In the previous video, we already introduced robots Kaleido and Friends, which truly stole the show. However, as we know, the company has a lot of expertise in robotics. At the company's booth, the spotlight was on the social robot Noki and the autonomous delivery robot Foro. Noki is designed to assist people in a typical human environment. The robot can move and interact with people safely using its sensor-equipped hands. One of its tasks is to load and unload robots without hands, such as Noki can navigate elevators, open doors, and communicate with people through gestures. The robot can perform tasks autonomously or operate via remote control. Its partner, Foro, can move independently or in a group, adjust to the crowd's pace, and like its companion, ride elevators. The strangest robot at the Kawasaki Heavy Industries booth was perhaps the walking support robot, Robotic Nimbus. This cushion on flexible legs with wheels can follow a person and mimic the movement of their torso or pelvis. One might assume that the robot serves as lumbar support when a person is standing or leaning backward, but the question arises as to why it replicates the torso movement when leaning forward. It would make sense if the person were somehow attached to the robot, but there was no demonstration of such attachment. What do you think could be the purpose of such a robot? Epson introduced its autonomous dual-armed robot, WorkSense W01, capable of seeing, sensing, thinking, and working. This intelligent robot with two hands is equipped with a variety of internal sensors, such as cameras and force sensors, and is designed for virtually autonomous manufacturing in a variety of new and diverse applications. The robot features four cameras on its head unit and two cameras mounted on its arms, providing it with human-like vision, enabling precise determination of the position and orientation of objects in three-dimensional space. The robot can perform delicate assembly, transportation, and other tasks requiring human-like force control to avoid damaging objects. The robot's two seven-axis arms move like human hands, operating independently of each other, allowing it to perform tasks beyond the capabilities of a single-arm robot, such as tightening a screw in a component with one hand while holding the component in place with the other. The Yugo company presented its new robot Yugo Mini at the exhibition. With these robots, the company aims to automate inspection tasks in commercial settings. In simpler terms, these are mini inspector robots capable of reading data from meters and monitoring changes in the surrounding environment. In a broader sense, Yugo Mini can be used for security, inspections, and elderly care. While it sounds promising, the actual capabilities of such robots are quite limited in reality, which can only be compensated for by a very low price. Interestingly, the company previously focused on a more complex and functional system, a wheeled humanoid robot with two arms and a drone on board. The robot can move around the premises, open doors, check windows, and if necessary, launch the drone for aerial inspections. Junko Chihira is a humanoid robot designed for customer service. This lifelike robot, developed by the Japanese company Toshiba, has captured attention with its high level of realism and the ability to replicate human emotions and gestures. Junko Chihira can interact with people, provide information, and perform specific tasks. Its design and functions are intended to make interactions with technology more natural and enjoyable for users. Junko Chihira speaks and welcomes shopping center visitors in English, Japanese, Chinese, and can also communicate in sign language. Language. Toshiba's speech synthesis technology is behind Junko Chihira's trilingual skills, and further, developers aim to give her speech recognition technology. Armed with speech recognition technology, the robot will be able to respond to questions asked by the tourists at Tokyo's waterfront. The robot named Keparan at the exhibition left no one indifferent. 
This whimsical robot was developed with original character design and unique movements related to interacting with visitors. It is based on the mascot robot technology developed by the Mirai Creativity Center in collaboration with Toyota Motor Corporation. In simple terms, this robot friend reacts to what you show it. For example, if you show it ice cream, it will express interest, but if you show it a broom, it will show displeasure. The robot stands at approximately 70 centimeters tall, weighs 13 kilograms, and is equipped with about 30 motors throughout its body. It uses an external camera system for recognizing people and objects and interacting with them. Its eyes are displays that allow it to express various expressions. The most interesting thing about a robot is that you never know what kind of trick it will perform in response to your specific actions. At the International Robot Exhibition, IREX 2023 in Japan, Fanuc unveiled controllers for the R50IA and R50IA Mate robots for the first time in accordance with international cybersecurity standards. The company stated that it has improved both control characteristics and remote servicing capabilities. Additionally, the company introduced and showcased the Robotjet V10 system, featuring the ability to pre-check robotic systems and virtual reality. Collaborative robots were also presented alongside the industrial giants M2000 M1000 and M950. The main attractions of any FANUC exhibition stand designed for the automotive industry. Yamaha has revealed its vision for the future of material transportation in industries. In the exhibition demonstration, a robot manipulator was seen riding on a mobile robot, picking up parts delivered by an autonomous electric vehicle. Given that IREX 2023 focused on solutions addressing the growing labor shortage, the company got into the trend. As mentioned in previous videos, Japan faces the acute challenges of an aging population and a shortage of labor force. Universal Robots presented the UR30 model at the IREX exhibition in Tokyo. The new UR30 model, in addition to Universal Robots product line, encompasses all the advantages of its predecessors, while featuring increased payload capacity, a larger working range, and advanced software for the execution of highly efficient tasks. This compact collaborative robot weighs 30 kilograms and can effortlessly lift and manipulate loads equal to its own weight, which is a remarkable feat for such a small robot. Robotique has introduced a new robotic palletizing solution for lower throughput applications that require frequent changes of task and box or pallet size. The new system is designed for applications of up to 13 boxes per minute. In addition, this application-focused technology comprises fully connected plug-and-play hardware and software with pre-selected functions for rapid and simple deployment with UR10. The palletizing application can be set up in three steps on the visual robot control device with automatic trajectory planning and collision detection and no need for a PC or external programming. The system delivers optimized, synchronized motion control of both the cobot and seventh axis with seamless movements ensuring a maximized cobot lifecycle. Its compact footprint means it fits easily within any existing floor layout, with no need to reconfigure production. The solution is also compatible with third-party safety systems such as safety interlocks, light curtains, and area scanners. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in today's video impressed you the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you later.